Hey guys, it's Quickie Baby. 9.1 was just released today for World of Tanks on the European server, and I've rushed to be able to get you my mod pack working in its entirety today. I'm going to be showing you exactly what you need to do to install the mod pack and what it will do for your World of Tanks client. Firstly, you need to download the zipped file in the description below. You need to get the 9.1 folder and the XVM folder, and you need to put them inside your World of Tanks ResMods folder. Next, since 9.0, you have to activate your client on the XVM website. You need to go to modxvm.com forward slash en. You have to sign in using whatever region you're on. And if you want to use the statistics in this mod pack, you need to activate them. Now you'll notice that it gives you two weeks worth of statistics. And after two weeks, you simply need to come back in and deactivate and activate it, and it should be working for you in-game. So if you have done all of that successfully, when you log in, you will see it says modxvm.com, and it is active, and the time that you have remaining on it. Just quickly, before I show you the client in-game, I'd like to highlight that I rescaled the efficiency rating in the mod pack to the latest variables shown by NoobMeter. But really all you need to know is that it should more effectively scale between at least the lower end of players. So I've already been lucky enough to play Harkov, the new map in 9.1. You can check out my video on it if you want to look at it in some more detail. As you load into the game, you're going to be presented with an overall percentage chance to win the battle via the statistics of weighing them up between your team and the enemy team. Now, just to explain all of these different columns, the first number is the amount of games that you've played. I've played nearly 24,000 games. Oh, God. Then is your efficiency. Then is going to be your win percentage. Now, the color scheme ranges from red to pink. And you can use this to gauge an idea of how strong your team are likely to be and maybe some of the enemy team that are quite dangerous. One thing that my mod pack will allow you to do is to zoom out further. This can be very helpful when you need to look around corners, perhaps to see where an enemy is aiming. And also to just to reassess your position to see if maybe you're, you're hulled down from the enemy's viewpoint. There are some markers on the minimap. You can see this white square is an indication of 500 meters, which in World of Tanks is the maximum possible render distance that you can see. So you can use that to see just how close you have to go towards the enemies to be able to have them physically render in your client so you can be able to shoot them. The other rings are going to be the maximum possible view range that your tank can have and the maximum possible spotting distance in the game, which is 445 meters. One thing that XVM also does is it remembers the last known spotted locations for you and indicates them on the minimap. Now remember, this isn't a guarantee as to where the enemy tank is going to be, as it will only indicate the last position that he was spotted in. Still, it can be useful for when you're trying to hunt down the remaining enemy tanks. Finally, there is a hit log in the top left-hand corner that tracks your damage. As we can see, we have done 1,686 damage so far. And that's rather useful just to get a, a feel for how well you're maybe doing in the battle, or if you're about to get close to your ace tanker badge in that tank that you're just missing it on. And that's it. I've done the hard work so you don't have to. If you've appreciated this, please give a like to the video down below. And I will be actively updating this mod pack as XBM releases new builds. As always, guys, best of luck to you in 9.1. I hope you have a great time. And I hope you enjoy my upcoming content on both YouTube and Twitch. Thank you so much for watching. You've been epic and hopefully I'll see you soon.